going on guys bowtie brem here once again and today we're going to be adding some stopping power to the bowtie mobile let's see what i got Alrighty, guys so this uh we got drilled and slotted rotors and ceramic brake pads um this is all by motor by motor um they also have a site um have the site AFA motor. Um, they have brakes and hubs for pretty much every vehicle you could imagine. A um, little bit of everything, but yeah. We got drilled and slotted rotors, brake pads. It comes the kit when you buy it comes with brake clean and some uh, brake fluid. Also, they sent me some good old lug nuts. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, start this uh, start this adventure. First thing we're going to do is uh, take off the wheel. Alrighty, guys. So now that you got your wheel off, um, this is what you'll be looking at. Your rotor, your pads, and your caliper. First thing I'm going to start off by doing is taking off the, shoe, the caliper and the brake shoe. So you have one bolt here there one there and one there so four bolts um two of them the ones for your shoe are going to be um three quarter the other one um for the caliper is going to be an 18. so all i got to do is undo those four bolts everything's going to fall out you want to have some zip ties on hand and uh, zip tie your shoe, caliper, whatever um, up here so it's not dangling and your brake lines aren't dangling. So I'm going to do that now. All right. So I got my brake shoe off with my pads here. Um, pads are still looking pretty good. I'm um, going to save those in case I ever need other ones. So you just pop these, you just pop right out pop out um, luckily these are your plates to hold everything in um, I guess you could always put these off to the side um, just in case but luckily uh, motor by motors pads uh, come with new ones so uh, I don't need to worry about these at all but you know you never know so you got your shoe here and your caliper next thing is for this application uh -huh star bit and uh, take this bolt out and then um, we're gonna have to see how hard it is to get this rotor off so uh, let me get a bit for that and then uh, I'll be right back alrighty after you got that bolt out um I know these rotors are gonna be frozen on there so what you're gonna want to do grab yourself a mini sledgehammer and um, just start And eventually um, it'll pop off um, I'm gonna get under the truck go through the back and just uh, beat it till it comes loose all right mini sledge and rotor all right I must say this thing is on there very very well here so well uh, yeah just uh, if it's stuck just uh, keep on hitting <laughs> the little WD-40 and a whole lot of uh, banging. Dear God. She is off. All right. Now, um, I'm going to use this brake cleaner real quick here. Clean off my hub here. I got 40 pounds of WD-40 on it. Okay. Now, take this piece of junk out the way. Get your hat back on. Grab, uh, grab your new rotor and uh, toss it on. Let me do that real quick. Alrighty, guys. After you got this on, I just wanted to make a note. Um, the boxes here are labeled 
left and right, or you might say, is it from looking at the vehicle or being in the vehicle? With drilled and slotted rotors, you always want these fins, I guess I'll call them, pointed towards the back of the vehicle, okay? So regardless of what side you're on, always pointed towards the back. All right, so we got that on, put our set screw in, and uh, now it's time to uh, decompress the caliper and get the new pads on. I'm gonna go get me myself a clamp. So since these are dual piston calipers, what you're gonna wanna do is grab yourself a crescent wrench or a little board or something, put it in like that, um, so it's evenly compressing the pistons and you're gonna grab your big old C-clamp or whatever you use and uh, Place I can't do it one-handed, but place that on there and tighten it to where the pistons are about flush with the end of the caliper right there Nice and simple Alrighty guys, so I got everything installed here. I had to do most of it off camera So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shoe you're going to put the supplied clips in on both sides and you're just going to slide your pads in, um, decompress your caliper like I showed you and first you're going to put on the shoe, um, tighten that down with these bolts right here. Next you're going to put your caliper on, it just slips right over, you just have to compress these little pieces right here, compress it in with just your finger, put it on and you're uh, all tidied up. All there's left to do is, um, well, the whole other side, but then now you're good to uh, put your wheel back on. You can uh, use some of their supplied brake clean and uh, spray this all off, get all the gunk off of there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do the other side off camera because it's the same exact process and uh, I'll be back to you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, everything is on, so now it's time for the true test and uh, Give her a drive and see how she actually stops. Well guys, so far everything seems to be mighty good on the stopping side of things. Um, you can tell they got a little more braking power than my previous brakes and rotors. Um, just to know if you haven't done brakes before, um, right when you get in your vehicle, the brakes are all gonna be squishy and stuff. Um, so you need to pump them a couple times to get them back into normal brakes um, to get that caliper squeezing on the pads again but um i'm not gonna slam on my brakes or anything crazy like that doing zero to 60 tests but i can tell you um they feel pretty good they feel pretty good um let me do some more driving around and i'll give you guys an update Alrighty, guys well i'm gonna have to give these brakes um a pretty positive review here um they work great the stopping is definitely a lot better than my uh, non-ceramic brake pads and uh, factory-ish rotors. Um, yeah, we do like a 20 to stop. Like I'm not hitting the brake super hard, but stopping very good. I like it a lot. They feel good. They look good. I mean, what more? What more can you want? Nice, easy install. I hope that install video helped. Let me catch you around when I'm not driving and uh, we'll roll an outro. Alrighty guys, so overall, um, I would give these things, as you guys know, I never give a perfect score because nothing's perfect, but overall, um, I've never had drilled and slotted rotors or anything like that before. Um, these do seem pretty nice, so I'm gonna give them 9.5, 9 out of 10. Um, no problems at all, everything fit. Actually, I'm gonna go with the 9.5 because I think it's pretty cool that they included brake clean and um, some brake fluid. Um, that's just a good touch for, um, that's how you know, I guess I'll say, they care about what you're doing. Because if you leave grease and stuff all over your rotors, it's not going to stop as good. So you could spray them off and make sure you have that good stopping power. Um, yeah, as you guys know, they sent me lug nuts as well, but I don't have those on just yet. But those do seem good quality as well. Um, that's about it. Overall, 9.5 out of 10. Um, I would recommend them. Once again, it's um, motor by motor, um, and they have another website too, which I'll link in the description. You guys remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in a couple days. Bowtie Brem, out.